here we go. It's Sunday morning. I've had a ton of you guys asking me how I curl my hair with my straight iron. All right, you guys, this is a magical tool. And I know you've seen me curl my hair with the wand, but this is like that fast. So um, I'm gonna get going really quick. I don't want this like video to be like forever long. Hi Gail, how are you? Yay, thanks for jumping on. So a couple of things that I have used on my hair um, up to this point are the Thicket Cream from Lange. I do this um, after I get out of the shower and I've washed my hair. I'll put this Thicket Cream on it. It makes my hair like thick. And then I will also use this Root Booster um, and I'll go in and spray it in my roots um, day one after I have washed my hair. And then I'm always using their heat shield. Um, I not only love the product, but what it does to my hair, but I love the way it smells, right? Once you've tried Lange, it's just like, yeah, this is good stuff. And it's actually quite good for your hair. Um, and I am like a big product person. You know this about me. So um, another one is my hair gets dry because I only wash my hair about every four days. I'll put this um, marula oil on it and it helps so that it doesn't look quite as dry. Thanks for sharing. I really appreciate that. Um, and so I'm gonna jump in and get started. I like to part my hair into a couple of different sections on top of my head, and then I'll start going in and curling my hair. Now, this is day two of my hair, and many times I'll go two days with it straight, and then I'll go in and do two days with it curled. Sometimes I can go a little bit longer, but usually I just do four days. I turned the temperature down because I don't want it to like burn my hair. And I want these curls to be like really, really soft. So I literally will go in, flip it, and then I like to leave the bottom part out so that it kind of looks a little bit messy. Um, but this bottom underneath layer is not that important because everything over the top will cover it. Um, hi, Amberlyn. Hi, Alyssa. Thanks for jumping on, you guys. So literally, I am, and hopefully you can see in the back, I've tried to position my mirror so that you can see in the back. My hair is significantly shorter in the back than it is on the sides. I have that really like steep A-line haircut. And um, hi, Cheryl. And so I just will like very, very quickly just kind of flip it just to give it just a little bit of, just a little bit of a wave. And on the bottom part, it's so short, like there's really no curling it, okay? And the nice thing about these curls with this, with the straightening iron is one, they go super quick. And two, many times you'll see how somebody will like leave the bottom part out like that. It's really easy with the straightener to get that kind of a straight look on the bottom. So right here against my face. See how that like just kind of pokes like that? Like, I love it like that. I'm gonna come up here. Well, let's just leave that one alone because we really might like it, okay? So now I'm gonna section off the next section. You guys saw how fast that is. Like literally, when I wanna curl my hair and I wanna do it really quickly, I'll use the straightening iron. I'm using the appliteer 
um, straightening iron. This is like a super affordable iron. And honestly, it's a great iron. I um, have always been just like, buy whatever is at the grocery store or at Walmart or whatever, right? But when I saw how affordable these irons and stuff are, when you watch for them to come on a, look at that, on a sale, you can't beat it for the quality. The quality is just ridiculous for the price. Um, and so if you're in the market for an iron, let me know. I'll put my link down for you guys um, so that you can see how affordable they are and see if I can like grab all these pieces. It's really hard to see in the phone like what I'm grabbing and what I'm not. Hi Casey and Celeste look how curly you can get them. So I just turned it up a little bit and you can tell the difference in the curls. So depending on how curly you want it, you may turn the iron down a little bit or turn it up a little bit. I usually go between 400 and 450 on mine. Um, they have one iron that's a little bit nicer than this and it has some features on it that are really cool. Like if you forget to turn it, off it'll automatically shut off on its own Let's see if you guys can see from the back I'll turn so that you can see a little bit but see how much shorter that is there and I've missed the piece over here but it's the front that you are always like wanting the best look for so you guys can actually see I use a little tool called a volume and um, I that's how I get my hair like super full at the root along with my root booster. The other thing that I sprayed um, this morning was this dry shampoo. Honestly, you guys, when I'm repurchasing products, you know they're good and you know that you guys, I won't tell you if I don't think they're good but this Deja Vu shan um, dry shampoo, like it is great. And honestly, when you watch their sales and they have sales all the time, you can't beat the price. Like, I mean, that is like, isn't that the cutest curl? I have all these little baby hairs right here, so I wanna be really soft with those. So you'll see me do a really quick curl right here where I have all these little baby grow outs. Since my surgery, I've had a ton of like baby grow outs. Now, once I start to get to the top, this is where, whenever I watch hair tutorials, this is where I wanna see what they're doing. It seems like this is the hardest part to do. And I actually like to start from the back here. Normally I'll start from the side and work around but I like to start at the back once I get to the top. Now, when you do this, you guys, you want to kind of keep the curl up, okay, and flip it through. See how much lift I got on that curl right there? Hi, Tanya. That is going to give me that volume on my A-line when I lift it really high at the top. Um, anytime you're doing any kind of a curling wand or even blow drying your hair, when, when you're doing that, you want to make sure that you're lifting upwards, okay? It's kind of crazy how you, you can get a little bit lazy and kind of pull it down this way, but if you're pulling it upwards, that's where you're going to get your most lift. Um, if you're curious about the volume, you guys, I have a ton of other videos on how I do my hair straight using that tool. But see how I'm gonna get that lift, especially right up here at the top, because I'm an 80s girl and I like a lot of volume on the top of my head. This is my teaser comb too. I really like this one. Um, when I feel like I'm lacking in a few areas, I'll pull out my teaser comb. I just like see you guys it can be so easy <laughs> Katie like 
I have loved my hair short and I love having the A-line look here. I feel like it, fit, you know, fits my face shape. I'm a big believer in going to a stylist that kind of not just knows your hair, but knows your shape of your face. I know I love the length as well, Haley. Like, it's really a fun, a fun length for me. And my husband actually prefers short hair, so that makes it really nice. So I'm gonna come this way and and then just kind of pull it through quickly so that this doesn't get quite as tight. If you get the curl too tight, just kind of pull on it a little bit and it's gonna loosen up. I'm gonna turn it down again a little bit. This one doesn't have the digital, it just has this, I don't think you guys can even see that. It has this little roller thing that changes the temperature. And I'm gonna turn it down just a little bit because I don't want the curls right here in the front quite as tight. So I turn it down a little bit, that keeps the curls from being a little bit too tight and it also helps so that you don't get as much damage on your hair. And I've already sprayed the Rival Heat Shield on. That helps protect the hair. See how quick I pulled through that? Because I really don't want these ones here too tight. And this is kind of why sometimes it's fun to do the curls with the straightener. I feel like you have a little bit more control over how curly you get your hair. Hit me with your questions, you guys, if you have any, or if you're just mesmerized by, I, I can watch people do their hair and makeup all day long, <laughs> right? Who else can watch somebody just do their hair and makeup all day long? Hi, Brandy. Thanks for jumping on, you guys. This is kind of an impromptu. I've just had so many people say, last week I did a poll and I had people say, do hair, do makeup. And so I thought, well, Sunday mornings sometimes can be really fun to do, to do hair. And I can get a few people watching and then people can watch on the replay during the week as well. But you guys keep sharing this. See that? So see how I kind of pulled it away? And I know all day. Hey, Lara. And so I'll get these really pretty waves right here and it won't be too tight. Gotta get these ones underneath here. And again, I'm not gonna curl these right tight to the head. I'm just gonna kind of give them a little bit of a wave here. Well, that one didn't work very good. Come down a little bit more, okay? Just like this, this is gonna give those really nice, pretty, pretty curls all the way against my face. Now, the fun thing about my hairstyle, and maybe yours is the same way, but like, I can part mine on one side and then on a different side the next day. So see how I pulled this one down as opposed to these ones up here that I pulled up? So it just depends on where you want that volume. So I pull up up here and on these closer, I pull more down towards my face. Hi, Shea Parker. And this one here, I'm just gonna barely just kind of just smooth it out here. And then I have all these little baby hairs coming back. Just gonna straighten those out a little bit. Okay, now let me just peek and see. Looks like I've got a straggler right here. I'll just kind of give it a little twist so it's not alone. And then like, we'll see how those ones look. Okay, hey Lori. So from here, what I like to do, some people like to comb it out some people like to just run their fingers through. I like to take it and go underneath and just kind of shake it like this. Happy Sunday to you too. Okay, and see how much volume I begin to get. 
Again, magic sauce. <laughs> Seriously, look at that. <laughs> Dry shampoo, heat shield. My daughter has really long, heavy hair and a lot, like it's like super long down here. And she, my toilet is so annoying. She says that her curls have never stayed in better since using the heat shield. The heat shield makes all the difference in her hair curls staying in. So um, again, I'll put my link below, um, but, and I'm just gonna kind of comb through these with my finger up here on the top, because I really want that texture of the hair to show. Isn't that so fun, you guys? And then I just kind of piece them apart. Once I get kind of them pieced apart the way I like, and if I need to go in and like fix this one, you wanna make sure it's cooled off a little bit before you go in and fix it again. Okay. Just like that. So where what I started was I wash my hair and then I only wash my hair about every four to five days depending on how lazy I am. I'll go in and add this thicket cream. I love this stuff. It helps my hair have just a little bit more thickness. I have really fine hair. I have a lot of hair, but it's really fine. And then this Grand Debut Root Booster, good stuff. Only a little, make sure you keep it really um, centralized at your root. That'll help give you that, that grit and hold. I use this when my hair starts to get really dry, um, especially by about day four or five. I don't know how many of you guys like feel like, if you're blondes especially, our hair gets like just really, I don't know, it just looks damaged. And so this Marula oil really helps like smooth it out and make it really nice. The heat shield not only protects your hair, but it helps like keep the curls in. And then what I'm gonna do now that I've got like this, I'm gonna use this sea salt spray and I'm just gonna kind of spray it all over. It gives my hair like that pieciness And I've, I'm waiting on an order to come in because I ordered some more of their um, uh, hairspray that hasn't come in yet. And I sometimes would like to tuck this behind my ear, especially when I do it curly, or I'll like pull it up and do something really cute like this up on the side. And that sometimes is super cute. Um, sometimes I'll wait and do that on the next day, but like, see how fun that is? Super cute, right? And really, really easy. It's an easy thing to get good curls with a straightener. Um, make sure that you guys are watching for their deals like every day, okay? They've got like... Every day this month, they have a new launch of a new product, not new, but a sale product. So launch is like, they fit in alignment with what I believe, which is helping women feel beautiful, helping women um, be positive and supportive of one another. And that's another reason why I love launch and I have an affiliate link with them because I love their products and love what they stand behind. But like a couple of days ago, they had the appliteer on for like $25. You can't go to the grocery store and buy a decent straightener for $25. I'm watching for a blow dryer. Um, so um, keep watching. I will try and keep posting in my stories and stuff about what they have for sale. I have an affiliate link. So if you wanna order anything, I would appreciate like just clicking through my link and um, that just helps so that I can like spread the love even more. So if you guys have any questions at all, um, I'll do another video about how I do my straight hair where it gets really big. You need a blow dryer too.
believe me, I'm watching every day to see what deal they have and I'm getting me a blow dryer. I spend hundreds and hundreds of dollars on really expensive blow dryers and their blow dryers when they hit the sale are so affordable, just like their tools and their products. So keep watching, I'll keep you guys informed and um, hope you guys have a great Sunday. Hit me up with your questions about anything and I'll try and do a tutorial this week on how I blow dry my hair and get that va 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 boom look because we know I like big hair. So so I haven't tried the Dyson, Jillian. I, I'm, I can't, the thought of spending $400 on a blow dryer <laughs> darn near kills me. <laughs> so I can't do it, but thanks. My eyeshadow, I love playing on Sunday, doing a couple of different things. This is a like a teal that I put here just for a little bit of something special today. So anyway, you guys have a good Sunday and I will see you this week for sure on Thursday and if not, a couple of other days. So I'll talk to you later.